Hey guys, welcome back to eSigAdvance.com. My name is Cody, and today I'm going to be talking about a, uh, um, I guess you could call it a mod, uh, a device that I have never used before, but I have always kind of wanted to uh, try some of them out. It is the Vapage VMod XL. Um, basically what the Vapage VMod XL is, um, it's a bottom feeding um, mod basically. Um, and, I'll, and I'll explain what that is once I open this up. Let me talk a little bit about it though. The VMod XL is a completely new, which was a couple years ago, they just haven't changed their site yet, is a completely new, bigger and badder bottom feeder than its little brother, the VMod. The VMod XL uses an 18650 battery, uh, which the battery they do include is an 18650 2200 milliamp hour battery, uh, 3.7 volts, and last up to three days of serious vaping. The VMod XL uses a new two chamber design unheard of in the vaping world until now. One chamber feeds the e-liquid while the other chamber brings fresh air in from the outside through its nose cone. The VMod XL is also designed to use the world famous Vapage Silo and AMG hybrids. But wait, there's more. It's also compatible with any modern 510 cartomizer, such as a 306 or your favorite 510. So that's kind of just the rundown they do have on their site. Like I stated before, this has been out for a little while. I remember this being out maybe a year or two ago, maybe even longer than that. Um, and when it came out, it's pretty sleek. It's a pretty slick little device. So. Here's what we're going to open it up to. We got the cap off. When you first open it up, you are going to see a user guide. It's a very good user guide. It explains everything you need to know about the Vapage VMod um, and the things that do come with it. You also are going to get this postcard style. Um, oh, here it is. It's a postcard style six month warranty, uh, limited six month warranty. Uh, and you do have to register by mail. You just basically fill this out, send it in. If something happens to your vice within six months, um, which is pro limited means like uh, product defects. Uh, I mean, you can't go outside and run it over with a, a truck or something and get a new device. Um, so this is the Vapage VMod. As you can see here, there is a bottle in there. Um, I do believe this is a, around a 10 mil bottle. Uh, you have your button here, um, here's your cone, and let me just uh, talk about first what comes with the kit. You're going to get your complete VMod here. You're also going to get one silo 2.2 ohm cartomizer. You're going to get one hybrid 2 ohm atomizer, two e-liquid bottles that are empty, one lithium ion 18650 3.7 volt battery, which is branded as the, uh, it says Vapage on it. You're also going to get a battery charger, a user guide, a warranty registration card, and two drip tips. One drip tip is a longer style, you know, just regular black drip tip. And one is a little bit smaller, mini style, we can't see that, mini style black drip tip. And I'll do a close up of all this stuff um, here in a little bit. Here's the extra bottle that you get with it. So if you wanted to have one bottle with you on the go, but fill one up for later of a different juice or even the same juice, maybe you vape that much, um, it does come with a little cap that you know the juice won't leak out. As stated, it does also come with a charger, if I can get it out, which is also branded with vapage on the sides, um, plugs straight into an outlet really hard to get down without fingernails. This right here comes down and plugs into a wall pretty much. It has the standard spring style um, charger. And um, here is the silo cartomizer. I kind of have a weird funny little story with this. I was using it doing my test and I happened to drop it in the toilet. So I completely ruined the atomizer. I, I went ahead and tossed it from the time I did get to use it, it was a pretty good performing atomizer. Um, and I will say that the atomizers that you do get through them um, or the cartomizers work really well with the device. 
Um, although you can use other 510s and other 306s and you know anything with that style of threading. Um, and they do work, but they don't work as well in my opinion. I think it's something to do with just the way these are designed to um, the juice flow and to get inside of the atomizer or cartomizer. It just, it works really well. Um, so I'll show you how the, the cartomizer does perform. I do have an atomizer in here right now, just a standard 510. Actually, no, I have an HH357 in here, which is nice. So we're going to try it out with the cartomizer first. Basically, the way this works, if you turn it like this, you squonk for your Rio people out there. You squonk the bottle, turn it up, and the juice, you'll hear it squirt. You'll, it'll make like a kind of noise. And uh, what I like to do is I feel like that's flooding it just a little bit. So I will press it in and then let it kind of suck that juice back out. Yeah, and the cartomizer looks like it's nicely, you know, saturated with juice. So here we go. A little too saturated. See, this is the problem I was having with this. I was having a lot of juice puddle in my cartomizer and, uh, and, the, and the atomizer, and it was kind of getting spitty. You know, I was just basically sucking in some juice, so Let's see if it works a little better now. I mean, it's not a bad juice to, to, to drink, I guess. It's, uh, I have fluid in here, hasn't eaten through the bottle. Um, actually tastes pretty well in the cartomizer. Yeah, that's just getting really spitty on me, guys. Sorry. Give me just a second. I'm going to blow this out and stuff and get it ready for, uh, for vaping. And I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. That was my fault. I was just, you know, showing how to do it. It was probably already saturated enough, and I just did it again, did it too much. So here's how it vapes with the Silo Cartomizer. At, it is a 2.2 ohm, and it is running off of uh, 3.7 volts. It's vaping pretty well. The flavor is a really nice flavor. It's to be expected to have a slightly uh, muted flavor with the cartomizer. Although it does perform a little better than most cartomizers, or flavor-wise, better than most cartomizers that I've used. Um, and this is what they say about the Silo cartomizer that they have specifically at Vapage. The Silo is a custom-designed cartomizer for the VMOD but works superbly with other bottom feeders as well. The polyfill has been reduced to give a continuous fresh e-liquid to the atomizer, resulting in a less muted taste often associated with cartomizers. If you love cartomizers and bottom feeders, then the silo is the one to buy. And, I, you know, I tested that. That is a, it's a pretty good cartomizer. They do offer a couple different ohms. They do have 1.8 ohms, 2.2, and 2.8. Um, in my vaping style, I want the 1.8, although I did not get one with the, the kit, that's totally fine. The 2.2 vapes, all right, but I have to take a longer draw than I'm, uh, I prefer to take. Um, and I prefer, you know, a little bit of a warmer vape with it. Um, the atomizer, here's what they say about the atomizer. I can't show you the production because where it fell in the toilet, I just went ahead and tossed it. Um, so I apologize about that. The hybrid bottom-fed 1.5 ohm and 2 ohm atomizers have been updated with our new Pro Spec Slant Coil to give great flavor and a hit you like. But the new design is significantly more robust and more stable than before. Not only does it hit like a freight train with larger clouds than ever, but the new design helps prevent premature death of coils, hot spots, and more constant wicking. We listened, we made changes, keep vaping friends. So it's a good, you know, it's, it's good that the company is listening to people. You know, I, I remember 
um, some threads back in the day, people saying, you know, look, these car, I love your atomizers, but you know, I'm getting kind of an off taste here or there, or people getting them right in the mail and them just not working correctly at all. Um, they went back, they reworked the design, or possibly got a new manufacturer, and they're working a lot better. Uh, I liked it a lot. It was a really good atomizer. It had really good flavor, good vapor. Um, partially, in my, I thought it was probably due to the lower ohm, um, but you know, it didn't gunk up for about the two or three days that I had it. You know, sometimes atomizers can slightly change the more you vape them. I really enjoyed it. So, let's go ahead and take this bad boy apart and I'll show you the different parts. First, to take the body off, you have to take the nose cone off. Whoop. When you do that, the body will just slide right off of it. Um, and you can set, you know, you can set that to the side. Here we have our, I'm led to believe, a 10 mil bottle. It just screws in to the body. It is filled with fluid, which is awesome. <clears throat> Around back here, I guess I should show you the back part. This is a AWIMR battery. This is, happens to be one that I just had lying around. This is not the battery that you'll be getting with the kit, although the one you will get, be getting with the kit works exactly the same. I just happened to leave it on the charger because I was using this so much um, this past weekend. Um, in here, this is the uh, silo cartomizer, and you can also unscrew this portion too. I'm I led to believe this is what creates the uh, two-chamber effect that I talked about at the beginning where juice flows in but you're also getting uh, fresh air from the nose cone. This, this allows you to do that. Um, and that's basically it. I mean it's, it's a, kind of like a mechanical mod. Um, you know the button here basically presses down, meets, con uh, meets the positive side of the, the, the battery and then transfers power to your atomizer or cartomizer. Um, it works really well. I love the form factor of it. I love how you can um, basically feel like you're dripping, but you don't have the bottle of juice there. It's implemented into the device. That's really, really cool in my opinion. Um, so let's get this back together, and I'm gonna show you how it vapes with an HH357. All right, guys, got it back together. Got the HH357 in here now. Um, yeah, let's give it a try. Um, one thing I did fail to mention before, the button, uh, you can turn it um, counterclockwise to lock the button. So if you do want to put it in your pocket or a purse or, or what have you, you can do that without it firing. Um, and I can press you know, pretty hard and it's not firing. Um, all you got to do is give it a quick you know, fourth maybe turn and we're ready to go. I believe this um, is a 1.5 ohm HH357. Let me make, uh, let me see if it's working still. Yeah. So, quick little squonk. Suck the excess juice out. Here we go. Actually, I need a little bit more. And it, the thing I really like about it is that it tastes just like you're dripping, you know. Um, whether you drip it from the top or you're sucking it from the bottom, you know, the, the juice is still fresh. It's something that you're, um, it's not really sitting in there unless you over flood it. Um, it's, it's a really nice flavor for this. All right, so let's talk about a little bit of, uh, you know, some things I would like to see. Uh, the only problem I have with this is that it runs just on straight voltage, uh, just like a mechanical mod or something like that. Um, 
you know, you're getting, once your battery comes off the charger, you're probably going to get about 4.2 volts. Um, so with higher resistance cartomizers and atomizers, you're not going to get really good performance once the, uh, the sag starts to happen in your battery. You know, it stays at 4.2, then 4.1, then it goes down, you know, gradually as you use it. So what I would really like to see is some way of possibly doing maybe a, a variable voltage. That would be really cool with this because I love the form factor. I absolutely love the form factor. Um, I would like to possibly see uh, regulated. You know, if you don't want to do variable voltage, you want to keep 3.7. I'd love to see a regulated or some sort of a boost circuit in there uh, once your battery does sag to keep it at 3.7 volts constantly. That would be really nice. But for, for what it is, it's, it's super simple. Um, I, I'm kind of glad you know, with the experience that I had where I dropped in the toilet that it doesn't have circuitry in there because that would have been, you know, a, a mod gone, you know. If you drop that in, into water, it's pretty much going to fry everything in there. Um, so with it being mechanical, it is um, really easy to work on. There's not a lot of room for it to break. Um, you know, it is protected. This is... Um, Aluminum, I do believe. This is a aluminum casing, uh, although the body is made out of plastic, so I guess it could break. Um, but all, all in all, it's a really good device. So let's talk price. The price for the VMOD XL, which I do not have it on my page. Uh, I believe the price was $125 for the VMOD XL, and that is going to get you the complete VMOD. Uh, the cartomizer, the atomizer, two bottles of e-liquid that are empty that you can use um, here. Um, one battery, uh, battery charger, user guide, and the warranty. Not really that bad. Um, I mean, it's, it's a little high for the things that are kind of out there now, out there now variable voltage, variable wattage, uh, what have you. But none of those things have implemented a bottle, um, like bottom fed style into it yet. So I would really um, like to see Vapage come out with a variable voltage or variable, even variable wattage would be awesome with this. Or some sort of regulation with the, uh, the current that it's being put through there. Off of a straight current, it's really good for the first, you know, third, maybe, um, maybe half the battery, a third to the half of the battery, and then after that, um, it leaves more to be desired in the vaping area. So, with all that being said, uh, you know, you can check this out at www.vapage.com. That's V-A-P-A-G-E.com. Um, they're a really great vendor. They've been around for a long time. A lot of people really like this mod and still continue to use it to, to, till, until today. Um, I'll probably use this as my car PV just because it has the awesome flavor that I love with dripping, but I have the convenience of the bottom fed area. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, post in the comments below, or you can come visit us at www.esigadvance.com slash forums. Uh, I'm on there quite regularly. I check out a couple times a day. Or if you have uh, prefer like a face-to-face -face kind of contact, you can um, add me on Google+. Plus. My name's Cody Turner, and uh, on Sundays I do a kind of Google Hangout thing. Uh, if you have any questions, I answer them right there on the spot if you're a little too shy for forums. Um, if not, you know, go to our forums, post. Um, you get points for posting. People like your post, you get points for that. And with those points, you can turn them into free vape stuff for you. You basically have to do nothing but be part of a community and just have fun and you get free stuff. I mean, who doesn't like that? So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Check out the VMod XL from Vapage and uh, Vape On Guys.